<laughs> hey YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul. Today's video is going to be a fairly quick one. I get this question uh, pretty much on a daily basis and the question is, why do I not have an edit button on my EXS24 instrument? So when they follow my tutorials and I'm hitting edit, they don't have it. Well, you have to enable this and I'm pretty surprised it doesn't come stock enabled. I'm not sure why some of you don't have this automatically enabled, but um, if you're seeing this wood grain along the side of your Logic, chances are you're not using Logic's full capabilities. And in my opinion, it's more like a garage band mode than anything else. So to get the edit button right here to work as well as other advanced tools in Logic and to actually use Logic to its full potential, go to the top right here, Logic Pro X, go to Preferences, and go to Advanced Tools. And this tab will pop up and it says show advanced tools make sure that it's ticked and now you got the edit button right here as well you also got some other options here when you go under preferences as well when you have the advanced tool selected i'm just going to pull that back up open again just make sure that everything is ticked off so you're using logic to its full potential uh, you can go through them on your own and see um, if you want some of them but i would just leave them all check mark and uh, ticked and ready to go and that is how you bring the edit button or they're also the advanced tools back into Logic Pro if you don't have it or you by mistake changed it and you didn't know what you did. Uh, if you have any questions on this, you can ask me in the comments below. And for more good videos, remember to subscribe as they're always coming. And remember to upload your music and tracks to amamusicmogul.com. I'll see you all in the next video, guys. Talk to you all then. Later. Peace.